All right, so just before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to these videos. So I, I mentioned in my previous art video that I'm going to start doing the art and the gardening. I am going to keep it all on one channel. I'm already thinking, oh my gosh, I think I've made a mistake because the algorithms are not picking up my art video. But um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep at it and I'm just going to keep them completely, well, not completely separate because as I explained in my description, I you know, for me, I couldn't be an artist without the gardening first. Like, you know, for me, it's always been about the flowers and nature. And that's really my number one inspiration. And then from that, um, you know, I explore uh, my art be through through the nature, through the inspiration, etc. Um, so it's difficult. Uh, I didn't want to split them because I found that my head just wasn't um, allowing me to separate the two channels. It just wasn't happening and I just wasn't posting, as I said in my previous video. So I decided to keep them both together. I mean, you know, I don't see how it couldn't work. I've seen other people combining sort of various different elements into their YouTube channel. I mean, I think they kind of called lifestyle channels. I'm not really that. I am really a gardening sort of artist and a writer, but I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about that because that's just I think that's just too boring talking about writing. Uh, but of course, if anybody wants to any me to talk about that in the comments, then obviously feel free to ask questions. All right. So um, I'm going to keep at it. This is the photograph that I well, I actually painted it from life. By the time I took this photograph, the flowers had already changed. The light had changed, etc. But I obviously couldn't uh, show you the life. Um, well, I didn't have it on me. So I basically took a photo later, long a uh, few hours after I painted the picture. And so it, it's vaguely similar to what I was painting. It's the same bars of flowers anyway, but a few things have changed. Um, this is really loose. I wanted it to be loose. I wanted it to be fresh and um, sort of contemporary even, you know, when you're just um, doing sort of impressionist strokes, uh, which work really well when you get the values um, right and the colours right. Um, so, uh, you know, it was really just an exercise in getting me back into the routine of painting and you know in in time for all these flowers that I'm going to have in the summer um so yeah as I say I'm going to do a couple of garden videos a week and a couple of painting videos a week um and therefore hopefully satisfy you know both types of my audience all right so these pictures I paint and I sell at auction on eBay I'm not sure how long I'm going to do that so there is a link below for my eBay store. As you can see here, you can pop in and just look at the auctions. I just listed these literally a few minutes ago. And or you can go, I do also have full priced items, which you can't see because I've split screen look and they've all disappeared. So like that horse and more flowers and things like that. And you can just buy those now. But if you are specifically just interested in the auctions, they, I auction uh, items on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I aim to do about 10 on a Saturday, 10 on a Sunday. So feel free to go in and place a bid. I ship internationally. If there are any countries I don't ship to, um, the, it, the eBay will uh, prevent you from, um, you know, putting on a bid. So don't worry, you're not going to sort of um, waste your money or anything like that. So, but I do ship to most countries. I've shipped many times to the US and Australia in particular, and most of Europe, actually, I've shipped to multiple times. I mean, France particularly, I've shipped to a lot, but I've also shipped to Israel. I've shipped to, I'm just trying to think now, I know I've shipped to somewhere like Slovakia or somewhere I can't quite remember, definitely Germany, uh, you know, Portugal for sure, Spain, Italy, yes, definitely a few to Italy. So, you know, don't be shy. But most of my customers are in the UK or, well, in fact, probably most of them have been from the US and France, probably actually are my biggest markets. Um, anyway, so there you go. But anyway, so let's get back to this painting. So uh, I do like the burnt sienna background. I just sometimes when I can't think or I don't like the background of the still life that I'm doing, I go for the burnt sienna because 
it has that kind of vintage feel. So if any of you have ever done, um, seen um, Paul, what's his name? Eugene Petit is one that I love. And I can't remember the other guy's name. I'll put it up on the on the on the uh, screen. Um, they 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 have this kind of vintage feel of their florals. Their soft sort of, um, you know, edges and their warm backgrounds and their warm sort of glowing flowers. I kind of really like that look. I think it really works in most houses, and I think you know it really a piece like this once framed just looks completely transformed into million dollars. Um, I just want to say I look a lot at property online. So as me saying at the beginning about the interior designers, I look a lot at property online for sale because I'm kind of always thinking about moving. It's the um, it's the gypsy in me, I guess. I um, and I can tell you interior wise, it is true. If you look at those cottages and seaside homes and things like New York apartments, I look at, they all have original art in them on the walls and it always looks spectacular. Even something that I would consider not my cup of tea, not brilliantly painted, it still looks a million dollars compared to like a print or something like that that you can just buy at any sort of local store or online. You know, even actually a print of, say, a classic painting, a beautiful painting which you admire, an original art piece on your wall framed even looks better than a print of an absolutely stunning artwork such as a Klimt or a Monet or whatever because everybody knows they're a print. You haven't got one well, unless you're, I don't know, whoever collects Monet and Klimt's, unless you're a billionaire, <laughs> uh, then you're. it's going to be a print and people know that. And this is also this sort of flatness of, on a print that you... There's, there's something I can't describe about it, especially in oil painting. Sometimes sketches do it for me in ink drawings, definitely. But an oil painting, it has this kind of lustrous kind of life about it. It just jumps off the wall. It draws your eye. The colours are beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. So I definitely have a look. Go and have a look online at all houses for sale. And have a look at the, especially in England, there's a lot of cottages. Um, people who own cottages seem to really like um, original art. And I, I've noticed because kind of that's what I was mostly looking at at first. And I used to think, oh, look at that artwork. And look at that artwork. It's so cute on the walls. They're just, and then you can sort of buy your own frame to match your decor. And it's just, I just think it just looks amazing. Um, you know, go and have a look, see what I mean. Start with New York apartments. If you go up the, really up the scale, expensive, start there and you'll see all the walls in those apartments are adorned with original art. And I just love looking at them. I just look at the art, basically. So um, there you are. There's a little tip. So I should be talking about this painting, shouldn't I? Well, I'm not going to beat myself up because I, you know, I've got plenty of time now to talk about paintings. Now I've made a decision about my channel. Um, but I, I think if you are a burgeoning artist or an artist in general, uh, you know, I think it's a good tip. Go on right move. Have a look at the properties. Have a look at the cottages, the English cottages. Have a look at the... New York apartments and go and have a look at the art on their walls. Um, obviously, I couldn't post any of those pictures because I don't want to invade people's privacy, even if the properties are on right move. But you go and have a look and see what you okay. think. Anyhow, here's the finished picture. And you can see what I mean about the vibrant colours and the energy in the painting that is just second to none. You just don't get this from prints and uh, what have you. You've got the impasto paint. Um, you've got the artist's interpretation, of course, and you've just got those lustrous colours. So I really recommend, if you can, buy um, original art. Uh, sometimes you can pick it up cheap, sometimes not. It is an investment. I've never heard of art going down in price, maybe except where it's damaged. So it can be an investment uh, and something you can certainly hand down to your children because it is a it, they are a long-term investment, really, artworks. So there you go. Um, obviously, you can pick up mine at the auction on eBay. Check out my links below. 
and you know i'll see you again in my many more videos now that i'm committed to this channel thanks for watching bye